everybody, I'm Reverend Karen Mikowski, aka Butterfly Karen. Welcome. So, I just want to do a quick intro to my um, collective energy uh, messages for the collective. So, if you're um, a subscriber, thank you for being here. Thank you for staying with me. And, um, you know, if you're new, welcome. Um, welcome to my weird and wonderful, wacky little world of, you know, I am a bit of a, an authentic weirdo. So you're either going to love me or hate me. There is no in between. Um, so what you'll realize is as you sort of glide through my playlist is that I not only am I a minister, but I am um, a parapsychologist. I do specialize in many areas. I do many, many things with my um, expertise, my specialized services and abilities, human abilities. We've all got them. But because I sort of work on cold cases and active missing persons cases and things like this, it's kind of, again, it's a bit of a dark area, sort of where I go when I'm tapping into energy frequencies and using my amazing abilities to help people, again, unfortunately, victims, etc. However, there is a sort of nice light side of what I do too. So that's why I do my collective energy readings. Um, I mean, I don't, obviously, I don't use cards, but... Um, just I will literally tap into energy frequencies and I will just allow to come allow what wants to come in to come in um, so the messages can be very random they can be very you know again I I use a lot of it I do use the remote viewing effect obviously and I again I do many I get it's, it's the easiest way to understand who I am what I do and why I do it is just to go to the website so the all of that information regards to me is in the um, description box below um, I do have an amazing pay it forward service right now too. That link is there too. That's amazing because um, all of the donations and um, contributions I receive through that is just fantastic. It just allows me to do, to give free sp um, spiritual counseling to people that can't really afford it. Uh, to anybody that needs it, um, free parapsychological um, investigations and everything, it really does make a huge difference. And I, and I just feel like over the last month, just because of the donations and contributions you people are uh, sending, it's just amazing. You don't even realize just how many people um, you've sort of helped through uh, making those contributions and donations. That That's what pays for my time because my services are free, but my time is not. My time and energy are incredibly important, so we have to protect that. But um, I've been able to do, do so much for so many people, especially this last month. Um, so it's a big thank you to you guys and gals, and I, you know, I do hope you will continue to sort of pay it forward because I'm all about beautiful karma, um, and the karma is just that energetic frequency we do give out. And um, so if you're great, that's all coming back. If you're good, that's coming back. If you're if you're bad, that's all you've got coming back. So it's up to you to do that sort of do that shadow work within you. Um, so again, big thank you. Um, and that's so that's kind of what I sort of do. That's the pay it forward. But again, all the information is in the description box below. Now the energy messages I do, like I say, I, I tap. I try to designate at least one day a week, and I feel like I'm going to start designating two days to this too, just to receive message for the collective. Absolutely, messages from loved ones, etc. Um, whatever shift in the um, atmosphere, you know, environments and things like this. If there's any sort of messages coming through, any sort of little warnings. I mean, I don't like to create fear, but I don't like to withhold information. I feel like because I'm always connected to the Supreme Divine and that's kind of who I'm channeling. Um, and obviously my guardians and my higher source and things like this. So if there's anything coming through from that five dimension, you know, that's kind of where I'm going and where I hang out a lot. <laughs> So anything that's coming through that's for you peoples, it will come through. Now, if it resonates, fantastic. Whatever messages I'm coming through to, please don't make them fit. If it's not if, it, if it's not for you, don't don't make it fit. Don't sort of create something that's not really for you. Uh, but, you know, you can always sort of look through past ones and things like this. And th these series are designed to grab as many sort of collective messages as I can and hopefully sort of, you know, it... it, it something it's for you um but that's you know so again like i say all of this is just sort of interconnected to what i do and again all of the donations i receive is all to do with me designating time which is because you guys have been you guys and gals have been fantastic with your contributions it's allowing me to designate another day to do this it's great so i can do more i can um take that time to invest into it more and again it's all to do with you know putting it out there and giving your people's what you need, what you want. So it's 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 
you know my time is my service to you guys and gals and again you guys and gals paying it forward is great really just great camera for you guys because there's always somebody that needs people like me doctors like me um and again because i do paranormal investigations too like it, it really helps so I, if somebody really needs a is looking for a missing loved one but they can't afford to sort of um use my my service um for many reasons this is what it pays for so i can designate that you know that charity time to that those people um so it's ha it's made, you know it's great that people do this it, it's a great contribution so never forget that um so like i say just um enjoy the collective messages the series and um like i say if you know somebody that maybe a message that's coming through if, if it resonates and you think i i know i know somebody that's that sounds familiar again just like share and share the videos if you feel like it benefits somebody please do it that's what it's all about um and you know don't forget to like share and subscribe it really helps my channel as you can see my channel is just really like Woo! It's it's great. It's it's like I'm so patient. I mean, I'm such an, a, a patient little authentic weirdo. Anyway, I love it. But I do put I do work very hard. I put so much work and effort into my one well, my creations and everything that I do. So I'm just sort of seeing it trickulating up and up and up. It's great because it just means that you guys and girls are really helping really push this channel. And I absolutely thank you so much for that. So um, we are moving up. <laughs> as they say so please welcome here um come with an open mind you just with somebody like me you just need an open mind you can believe in whatever you want to believe in but an open mind is everything and you might just learn something new and you know i'm always learning i'm always meeting great people and i'm always learning something new every day and that is the beauty of life so i welcome you here and i will and just again enjoy the series and i will speak to you all again very soon Hey everybody, I'm Butterfly Karen, how are you? Okay, so this week's collective energy reading um, was, it, well actually it's, it's, it's an interesting one. They're always interesting, they're always, I look at it in the messages. Um, I'm constantly wanting more really positive ones, but I'm finding that there's still a few that get through. Um, that just need to sort, you know, they just need to sort of let their voices be heard. When it comes to the energy, I mean, I've mentioned this before, but um, I don't like to ignore any of them. Obviously not, and I write everything down. And, and I know I'd love to have positive ones, positive ones, but that's not the reality of life, unfortunately. And I always believe that if you're negative in life, you'll be negative in death. So I think in life, you need to change that about yourself. Um, Nobody wants to go to the death or the next life in the, with the same negative attitude, etc. as you did in life. I mean, what a waste of a life. I always feel like at the same time, let's not give them a voice. Because there's many people like me, but give them a voice. Let them come through. Let them say what they need to say and then let them pass over. Because it's like in life, if you have regret, it stops you from moving ahead it stops you from moving forward it stops you from making changes positive changes so look at it like that when you're dealing with um 5d and the energy on that side think of it like what do they need to say because i do the transition of souls too and i'm all about the light so if i'm helping them um you know the little deal is okay well i'll 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 be your voice i'll bring the message across but then get into the light <laughs> don't linger I'm only going to say this once and, and that's it there is not a human being on this planet that is worth any energy lingering on 3d plane for and I don't mean that in a really nasty way let's be realistic a lot of you know a lot of energy does especially because they want to keep an eye on the loved ones but you can do that from the other side you don't need to be lingering on that 3d plane at all it's not a it's not a good place to be for any energy at all unless you're negative and you're bad and dark so i guess even when you love somebody so much and you just and you, you oh i want to wait i want to stay um people that love you on this side they're not going to want you to ever stay and linger Nine times out of ten, those that do is because they've left things undone. There's something that they need to say or regrets. 
Um, so don't have regrets in life. Say what you need to say, and if you can't say it in life, say it now. That's the way I see it. So it's not that I, I, I like to bring, you know, shitty messages, etc. I don't want to do that. But I'm not going to not deliver the messages either, because everybody on this side on free day don't want to hear it or hear the truth. I don't care. I said this before. I do truth. You either work with truth or not at all. I don't work with lies, I work with truth and it doesn't matter how much that truth hurts me or my feelings, I don't care. I cannot work with lies and deceit, I can only work with truth. So this is it. I guess we all need to start toughening up in life and reality because I think we've had it too good. I think for too long we've had sensitivity and feelings etc and it's not worked. Look at what's happening around us today dysfunctional psychologies it's not working you have to toughen up and you have to because life is hard life is hard and it will beat you down and, and it will beat you down to the point that you've got to fight to keep getting back up it's as simple as that if I didn't care about people I just lie like everybody else does I'm not gonna do that I'm not gonna do that at all so I'm not gonna die I'm not gonna lie for the energy either if they give me messages, I'm going to bring them through. It's not going to, it's not going to be very nice to hear for some people because it is for the collective. Um, but that's okay. If you hear something that resonates and you don't like the sound of it because it makes you sound like not a very nice human being, change. If it resonates with you, if bad stuff or um, if anything that you hear that's kind of shitty and it resonates with you anywhere where you think God, I, mm -hmm. and it's not good and it makes you look like a shitty human being change only you can change so I guess that's really all I can say when I'm coming when I'm getting these collective energy readings is because I do get some that come through they're not happy all the time and I've said this before they're not always happy some can come through angry, annoyed, pissed off. Um, some have something to say that they never got a chance to say in life. So, well, here it is. So, but you know, I still get, I still get the nice ones, obviously. This is the um, environmental data. Everything's normal. Um, it was a good day to meditate as well, actually. Humidity for me was only 24%, so that's really good. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to get straight to uh, the first message. Now the first message came through as a photographic, visual and clear audience. Um, so this connection, when I made the connection, I was seeing what looked like a picture of a young man with blonde hair, like late 30s. Um, and he had, his, he had his right arm up in the air like he was sort of talking to a crowd. Like um, he, he was, it looked like he was having a discussion and he was on stage and it just as I sort of looked around it I could just sort of see a crowd around him so I thought, okay well he's uh, obviously maybe an influencer but he was talking to a crowd and then all I heard was let's bide our time that's, that's what I heard from him on the stage to the people was let's bide our time so it's hard to know if that's um, I'm assuming that's energy that's attached to him uh, but he's clearly got stuff to say he's clearly got messages he's clearly um, is up there it doesn't look familiar to me like I I, I don't recognize him um, but then again I'm not really interested in celebrities or any of that kind of crap so I don't put people on pedestals don't care who they are human beings we are all the same we are all equal because the, the only thing I care about is are you a good Pete? Are you a good human being or a shitty human being? Because if you're a shitty one, I don't want to know you. But if you're a good one, I want to know you. And unfortunately, the majority of the shitty human beings are celebrities. So I've got zero interest in any of those people. Okay. Um. But yeah, so I didn't really. Um. I didn't. Like he looked like he 
belongs on a stage, he just don't recognise him. So it could be somebody that's up and coming, but um, pretty young. And he's, he, it's almost like he had a lot to, like I say, like a lot to say, but knew what he was talking about too. So that was, that was kind of interesting and cool. Um, so I'm going to keep an eye out, like stuff like that in the future. Um, again, because I see these people, I'll, I'll recognise this person if he ever hits the, the main stage. I'll recognise him straight away. And so the second message, this came from his Claire audience. Okay, so, huh? <clears throat> oh, okay. Um, hmm. Okay, when it comes to autism, there's a lot of research. There's a lot of studies going on. There's a lot we know, and there's a lot we don't know. So anyway, I heard this uh, female energy come through, and it was, it was regarding a, a boy. A young boy on free day so I feel like this energy was attached to this young boy and she you know I heard her say, she said the name he didn't went by the name Joseph but it was known as Joey um, and he just suffered from autism and then I heard he understands everything you're saying and tries to tell you but he can't speak when he rolls his eyes three times that's him answering yes okay so this could be clarity or something that somebody needs on 3d like maybe there's a family out there with a young boy by the name of Joey Joseph who goes by Joey and he's got autism a young boy um, maybe he rolls his eyes when you're talking to him maybe he rolls his eyes three times I mean you and you're not you don't feel like is understanding or acknowledging I because there's no communication verbally um, this is for those people just to let you know he understands everything everything that you're saying to him he understands and his way of saying yes apparently he rolls his eyes three times now I would love to get to get feedback on this one um, if this does resonate to somebody out there with a, a young boy, with a young son, who suffer from autism and it sounds very familiar, like if this resonates with a family, um, don't be dismayed, just this is confirmation that everything that you're saying to him, he understands. And when he's communicating with the eyes, doing it through his eyes, like, but his yes word his three rolling his eyes three times so I think that's really incredible um I think it's a good start it's good to know these can be patterns to learn from and really observe body language I think but that's just my opinion you know um many, many will differ but that's okay um like I said I am familiar with autism and but that doesn't mean I'm a professional in the, in the field of you know understanding that it's just um, the greatest way to understand a human being and understand body language is everything it's, it's the most universal language ever so if you can't speak you can um, commute find ways to communicate through body language and sometimes it's smallest little things like that that um, if you monitor patterns test patterns so I do hope that resonates to somebody and I do hope that gives that, pet, the, that family or the people clarification um, that maybe watch Joey's eyes mom and then ask the, and then listen to the question that you've already asked or what you're talking about and then feel that if that warrants the answer yes it follows that pattern so um, Okay, so the third message, this came through as a photographic visual and clear audience. Okay, so I heard the name Sabrina. Sabrina, um, not Sabrina. S it was a like very pron pronounced as Sabrina. Then the word Juilliard, and that is like the musical school. And then, because, and I had a feeling I was, okay, Juilliard, is this the, is this the school? Because then I saw the big black piano, and I'm like, okay. And then I heard... You uh, okay? So I heard the name Sabrina. I don't know if that's a Sabrina, uh, a girl on on 3D, who needs to hear this message, or if the energy is called Sabrina. Uh, then the word Juilliard, 
and then I saw Black Piano and then I heard you will make it congratulations obviously that um, you don't need it's not to be a rocket science to figure that one out so there is somebody on 3D that is clearly trying to get in, um, into Juilliard who plays the piano possibly by name Sabrina or there's energy on the others on, on 5D call Sabrina you're connected to basically you're being congratulated and you will make it I'm assuming into Juilliard so congratulations and I think that's fantastic so I, <laughs> mm. um, I would be intrigued to hear about that one too if that does resonate with anybody um, okay here we go it goes for a shitty one I'm sorry guys and girls we're gonna take the good with the bad because I think it's the only way people are gonna have to learn lessons in life like I say I say this all the time what you we don't see everything on 5d they see everything and they can see what's coming and they know everything and what they didn't know in life they get that clarity on 5d they get afterwards it doesn't matter see everything so maybe these are why we need you need to hear these truthful shitty ones too to change your behavior because that's a problem um i heard the name corporal beardsley 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 and b a b e a r d s l e y beardsley then i heard convoy ambush and then i heard i'm not going to say the word but i don't need to my best friend my wife when i was on tour i know it all no forgiveness hmm so it's really shitty right that happens all the time but this is corporal beersley he yeah he came through um and i'm assuming that's how he passed away in a convoy of being ambushed um i just wanted to let his so-called best friend know that he knows you his wife and obviously well while when he was on tour he knows it all no forgiveness and don't deserve it <laughs> absolutely not you're joking right so there you go that's not it's not going to be nice when that re that piece of reality just like kicks you in your teeth you know? need to hear it and you know the, you know the good thing is as well if the wife feels like she got away with it because he never came home i guess what he knows he knows everything so karma okay so the fifth message and uh, this came through as a photographic visual and clear audience okay this was nice actually because i was i was seeing a picture once i made the connection i was seeing this picture of um, a couple uh, a man and woman sits under a tree like they were having a picnic and then i heard the names peter and shannon and then i heard the message you will be reunite reunited after the divorces <laughs> okay <laughs> no idea um I'm, I'm i'm assuming that you're separated now or but uh, i don't know maybe you were together once upon a time um are you meant to be together you know i kind of like twin flames or soulmates etc depending on what you believe in any of that but um I don't know for energy to come through and sort of like show me the visual of the picture of you both and maybe that's just something you do or you used to do sit and happy mix with each other under a tree maybe there's a specific tree um but i just heard the name peter and shannon and then the message you will be re you will be reunited after the divorces so i'm assuming you're both sort of married and you're maybe getting divorced both of you i don't know but anyway, that was the message. If that resonates, um, and you, maybe, I don't know, maybe you're losing hope. I, well, keep the faith. Have hope, obviously. But, um, after the divorce, so at least you're doing that properly then. Unlike the one before. <laughs> no judgment, but, you know, regardless, I still, I still feel like, you know, people do shitty things to each other and you deserve what you get so I have that right to have an opinion um, 
the six so the sixth message this came from was a photographic visual too and clear audience oh okay this freaked me out <laughs> okay mm. I, I mean I'm not arachnophobic like I used to be but all oh, la I still ever want to deal with this so anyway I saw uh, what looked like a spider and it did look like a spider um, exiting a human ear oh my god I don't know if this is symbolic or some or maybe I don't know I don't know if this is something symbolic or it's happened to somebody like uh, the idea of that just like freaks me out you know like oh my god but um and then i then i heard your life choices can become your prison not everyone wants to carry the same baggage as you okay so it could be symbolic for the, you know the meaning and the message like your life choices can become your prison I still don't know how that would resonate to a spider coming out of an, in it, an ear. Ah. Um, not everyone wants to carry the same baggage as you. I'm afraid that's one for up to interpretation at this point because, like I say, I just um, I write down what I see, and it's not. Oh, mm, 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 ooh, la, la, mm, mm. Like I say, I'm not. I'm, oh, God, I'm staring around. <laughs> And like I said, I'm not arachnophobic like I used to be at all. I mean, I can actually pick them up if I want to, and I'm not that afraid. But the idea of anything coming out with someone's ear, especially a spider, that just kind of freaks me out. So, yes, that was this week's energy collective energy readings. Um, I don't really know where to go with the last one, but clearly, um. I, mean, I guess I guess your life choices. Um, let's think of an example. Uh, children. Some people make the choices to have children, have families. Um, I mean that that can be baggage, and that would be a sense of a prison because you sort of you, you sort of lose your freedom for like eighteen years. You know what I mean? And uh, I mean, if you depend on you look at it. Um, and that would be considered baggage to some people. Like if you. Um, like I know a lot of people who I, I know people including myself probably wouldn't it, it would take a special kind of person for me to sort of date a man with children absolutely a lot of baggage <laughs> you know I'm not really sure um, who that would resonate to but it's obviously this is for the collective so maybe somebody's feeling like they're in a prison because they can't escape the life that they've chosen and that's an unfortunate reality of the choices you make, um, you know. But and then you just have to work with it and live with it the best you can, and make the best out of it, make the most of it. But not everybody wants the same. I mean, really, not everyone wants to carry the same baggage as you. Well, I just like not everybody wants to have that um, baggage where they lose their freedom. Or not everybody wants to have children these days. It's weird, but. It's not unusual. Um, I'm not saying having children's baggage, I'm because there's all types of baggage. There's like ex baggage. There's former girlfriends, former boyfriends, former lovers. There's all types of baggage that you can bring into a new relationship, etc. Or want to um, escape. But I guess if you're going to look at it in a different way, where <clears throat> you want to be with somebody. And you've got maybe a lot of baggage, like a lot of ex baggage. Um, I don't know. Lots of kids, multiple mothers, uh, multi multiple multiple uh, fathers. Is that's again? That's like okay, baggage. To some people, they may be like, mm, mm, "That's just not for me." <laughs> so they're not being nasty or horrible or uh, you know rejecting you or anything like that it's just they just don't want to carry the, they've made their life choices just as you have and they just don't want to carry the same baggage as you sometimes you just got to look at it from that point of view sometimes that's all um does it make that person selfish or anything like that it's just not everybody wants the same thing um but i guess that's that so 
maybe if that is somebody needs to hear that it's just but I, again I'm not quite sure what's with the spider I'm <sighs> symbolic I will probably look into the symbolism of spiders mm, I don't know it's hard to know I guess I'm going to leave that there. You know, I guess the be all and the end all is um, take the messages if they're beautiful, enjoy them. Um, they're from your loved ones, obviously, from energy. If they're kind of crappy and they and they resonate with you, your behaviour in life towards other people change. Change now. It's better to change in life than it is because, like I say, it's um, depending on what you believe in, it will define where you go. So. And you know, regardless, even in life, what you do to somebody else will come back to you. It's as simple as that. And you don't have to be a believer in anything. But what goes around comes around. You may not believe in karma, but you do believe. But we all know what goes around comes around. That is karma, uh, regardless of how you look at it. So, if you want something to come back around, let it be amazing. Let it be good. Do good. Be kind. It's free, right? Put kindness out there genuine kindness not fake selfish acts selfless acts sorry if you're going to do something good it has to be selfless there can't be anything in it for you other than that just be kind it's free and i will speak to you all soon hi everybody i'm butterfly karen how are you okay so i'm going to be discussing um this week's energy collective energy readings Ooh, la, la. <laughs> um it's strange i actually got a i ended up when i was sort of in that meditative state i actually got a um what looks like a an open investigation possibly or a possible cold case or a case becoming cold and it came through quite quickly i mean i've done a separate video for it so um and that is case ccmp 13 and it, and it um it is uploaded on youtube now but this happens now and again um I prefer them. To, I prefer them not to, you know. But I don't ignore anything like that, and, and especially because it came through, and it wasn't. There wasn't a lot coming through, but I grabbed what I could, and it, the most important things I, I, I feel like I was able to grab hold of. But um, it's it's not a bad thing. It's just I prefer to work with like nice, kind energy. Although, even as I mentioned in other weeks, um. The energy that comes through is not always happy. Sometimes it can come from pissed off, etc. So, oh, solar rays, geomagnetic, yeah, absolutely. Um, anything else? I don't think humanity was really low. It was only 8%, so that was fantastic for me. Oh, I do. And, you know, I don't know if it's because of this lunar eclipse that's coming up, but <laughs> the energy field is, like, really powerful right now. So if you're anything like me and you're tap into it, absolutely tap into it I can't, I can't wait so um okay so i guess i'm just gonna start <laughs> so the first message came through was video uh, video visual and clear audience um okay so this visual it was like a video it was like i was seeing this older woman um like gray hair she possibly a motherly sort of figure but i remember she was sort of stood behind um, a, a younger woman with long brown hair and this younger woman had like a, le a red sw a sweater on and she was knelt down in the garden and she was like planting flowers or like sort of gardening you know pot flowers etc um, and I remember looking at the en the female energy and she was holding you know she was sort of leaning over uh, this woman and holding her shoulders like um, that's why I felt like it could be a possible mother figure but if there's a woman a younger woman who lost a mother figure or maybe even a grandmother um who i don't know maybe just gardening in a red sweater <laughs> i don't know but the energy that the clear audience came from when it was like she's always with you and you know i'm just thinking you know if there's a i don't know if there's a younger woman who maybe lost a mother figure and just um but does it works on a garden like pots flowers etc but um it just felt really really significant for somebody um i don't know what the garden represents it, it could be the mother's garden 
I don't know. I don't really want to say too much or assume too much, you know. I just I ha I just have to document what I see in here, so um but the feelings like I can I, I can always feel like it could be a mother figure but sometimes I could be wrong because then um, usually when I get them from like a pops or a grandpa it could be for a son or a grandson so I guess it's just I had to put it out there and if it resonates then please take it um but she's always with you regardless and it was nice because she, she was like holding onto her shoulders while she was gardening that was kind of nice um so the second message came through was clear audience um, and I hate the sentence that that may resonate with somebody who constantly either always heard this or, and it's hard to know who the energy was at this point, at this point because it, you know, it, if the message, okay, let me just, um, let me, so let me just say the message. Justin, are you making all that noise? Now, if this Justin is, the energy, it could just be letting whoever needs to know that, who used to say that to him. Um, that one, the, the here, you know, the... Or, it could be a parent or a guardian. Just letting this Justin know, um, you know, bringing them through the message. One that they're just hearing, etc. But, um, are you making all that noise? <laughs> it was. Justin, are you making all that noise? Um... But, I kept, you know, I don't know if it resonates with somebody who, who heard that sentence, like, constantly. Like, you don't make it that noise. I mean, it, it kind of took me back to childhood. Like, well, that's like my mother hearing my mother going, Karen, are you banging? <laughs> Something like that. Or oh, stop banging. Or what are you banging at? That sort of thing. So, that could resonate to somebody. But just to let you know that the energy came through and just, you know, let you know it's them. Yeah, that was. Are you making up, Justin? Are you making all that noise? <laughs> okay, so the third message came through as a visual and clear audience. Ooh la la, this was really cool. Well, it was. Hmm. Oh, it, yeah, I just got that pin man again. Okay, so this one was. Um, I saw a family gathered at a, a table eating like what looks like. Thanksgiving dinner because of the turkey and everything. Could have been Christmas dinner, but I don't know why I just felt like Thanksgiving really made a presence. Um, so Thanksgiving could be when the energy was lost, maybe. I really don't know. But I saw an empty seat at the table and then I watched um, a lady, long brown hair, really long brown hair, dark, like dark brown hair, um, lay a plate down at this table. Um, where this empty seat was and then started filling this plate with food and then after and that's the sort of first visual of seeing that and you know um sort of giving people food you know it was it was right at the table during the meal then after the meal i saw the same lady and another lady who looked very similar to that and they were you know quite young and i thought oh they look like sisters i just assumed because they looked so much alike um and they were sort of walking into the kitchen and then one of the women covered the plate with cling film and then put it into the refrigerator and then i heard the other, one of the other women saying we still feel you with us no one can take your place at the table so i thought it was really really quite nice because whoever wh whoever the energy was that they lost um obviously there's a huge you know there's a missing place at the table but they're still they were still um dishing out the plate of you know the dinner like it was almost like he was still there with them and like they said he'd be still for you with us so um and they just and nobody can take you so obviously that place at the table is never going to be filled which is you know, i thought that was really really sweet actually but it's like a big family too it was like a like family um i didn't count how many people were there but I, it was a huge large table so it was it was nice um yeah so that was just they were just they like i said the the message was um we still feel you with us and no one can take your place at the table so if that, that resonates to two women 
who look very similar with long dark hair who lost somebody um, from the family member um, and do that maybe at Thanksgiving um, energy was just coming through to let you know they they see what you do and, and, and they hear the message so that was really nice Okay, so the fourth message came through was Claire Audience. Um, and I just heard the fa oh, I heard the message Stacy. I don't know. I just, I just had to write what I hear. Stacy, when the devil when the devil knocks at your door, you don't let him in. Stop the self inflicted patterns. So obviously that's for somebody by for a Stacy. Um, yes, Stacy, when the devil knocks at your door, don't let him in. Stop the self-inflicted patterns. I don't even know if there's any symbolism in that. I, I don't know what that can. I mean, stop the self-inflicted patterns. Obviously, someone's constantly just making constant the same mistakes over and over again. Obviously, that's got to, and you're just being told to stop that. Um, I'm assuming and it's really funny because don't let him in it was like I had to but I had to highlight that and make it a bold in, in the e-reading because they made the, this clearly a male who is probably not good for you but um, I don't know that message just came for like it's a clear audience um, so if there's a Stacey out there that just keeps making constant Oh, this you know there's there's energy on the other side just clearly cares about you to warn you so there you go um mm. okay so this next the fifth message came through as claire sentience and claire audience oh yeah well la la this is when my m when I'm connected to energy, I'm, I'm, I'm an empath anyway so I sort of feel everything usually I can tell how a person sort of passed over or what you know what caused the ending um but i was feeling pains in the side of my head right at my temple and, and i felt this really intense pain not you know at first it sort of it was around my head and then all of a sudden it just felt more at the right side of my temple a real intense pain and that's why i felt like and then i just got the sense it was like a brain hemorrhage and uh, that may be how this energy passed over um, and then I felt like this energy came through to give a message to a woman on 3D maybe who they, who they were previously married to maybe a spouse or I don't know and then I heard the name Patrick Mahoney so I don't know if that name resonates to a woman on 3D Patrick Mahoney and then I heard there will always be a place in my heart even after I get married again you're gone but never forgotten so it felt like the energy heard that message it's perfectly okay but the only way that would resonate to somebody who's um who speaks to the energy like the loved one who's gone um that one they're getting remarried so and you know it was heard but I don't know the name Patrick Mahoney came through so and again that um, possible the 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 energy's death was something to do with the head I just felt like it was brain hemorrhage maybe but the head something um that's what caused that that man uh, the energy's death so the energy was confirming that yeah they got the message they heard the message there will always be a place in my heart um, and even after I get remarried so somebody in 3D is obviously getting remarried um, which is their way of letting energy know um, you're gone but never forgotten so it's kind of nice um, okay so random messages oh random messages this week oh, again random even sounds like music it's like I don't know who it resonates to or who needs to hear it but sometimes when the energy can't get through with full full-on visuals etc they'll just shower you know like um, and then I hit so the first random message I was hearing was it's it is story time little red riding hood 
Um, a visa for I don't have no idea. <laughs> and then I heard the song. Oh, good lord! I mean, I actually like this song, but I heard it and it was it was like constantly repeating over and over again. Um, Power Play by Eddie and the Tide. It's that, it's that song from um, Lost Boys. It's just the power play. That one. <laughs> um, and it was, and I, oh, hello, I mean, and I heard this song for a while, I actually like it, but it kept, you know, I don't know what that significance was, power play, constantly playing over and over again, that's obviously for somebody, but um, yeah, that was, that came through. Okay, the next one I heard was a word, I haven't even researched this word, I don't even know if it's a real word, I don't know if it's a foreign word, so I'm going to, I'm going to spell it, and I'm going to say it. It's Oprendocky. Oprendocky. And I don't know if it's a silent H. But it's spelled O P R E N D O C H E Y. Hmm. You know, Oscar, Papa, Romeo, Echo, November. Delta, Oscar, Charlie, Hotel, Echo, Yankee. That's the letters. Um, I'm sorry, I have to do that sometimes because a lot of people don't really struggle with my accent. So just in case I don't pronounce the letter properly, use the phonetic alphabet. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, Opera and Docky. That's how it sounded, up, Opera and Docky. And I'm like, oh, okay, interesting. That way clearly resonates to somebody, or it means something, so um, I just wanted to repeat it, say it, and then hopefully somebody's like, oh, what? <laughs> you never know. <laughs> okay, now the last one I heard was just a really, it was Skitty. Ask about Skitty. I, none of this means anything to me, obviously, but I just hear these sort of um, random messages and sounds, etc. Um, I even like feelings and stuff, but I just heard Skitty, S-K-I-T-T-Y, Sierra, you know, Kilo, India, Tango, Tango, Yankee, right, okay? Um, ask about Skitty. <laughs> so, I don't know what that means either. Um, but yeah. So that is this week's Collective Energy Reading. Um, I do hope they help people, um, even if it's for closure or just acknowledgement, etc. And I do hope they help. Hi hey everybody, I'm Butterfly Karen, how are you? So today, so this week's um, Collective Energy Reading, in environmental data, yeah, everything was good, everything was normal, um, nothing else of the unusual. <laughs> um, Yeah, so I guess I'm just going to get straight to it. It was, I was hoping to, um, you know, I'm always hoping to get really nice, pleasant messages. I can't always be guaranteed that. And, you know, I do like to, I, I try not to focus too much on, like, cold cases or missing persons. I do try and, I, I prefer my guardians to um, <laughs> separate those a little bit. <laughs> so, um... So I guess the so anyway I'm just gonna get straight into it anyway. Um, so the first message came as a, a video visual. Um, okay, so this was actually I was I was actually I came out of this one giggling actually just a little bit because it reminded me of something I experienced when I was 18. But I'm not gonna go into that because it take too long. But I was seeing. Uh, a, a really an old woman maybe like late you know mid 80s I mean definitely a grandmother figure um, white curly hair and um, she, yeah I, I do I feel like she was definitely a grandma figure I saw her smile she was sat on a chair and then I saw her smiling and then um, suddenly she just got up and literally just um it was almost like she just went charging towards someone she just sort of shut off really fast and just looked like she was charging at someone i'm like what? <laughs> you know whoa <laughs> um 
where did you get your energy from you know it was really really strange and like I say it reminded me of a, an experience I had with a, a, an older woman when I was 18 and I was working in a nursing home um, it I mean she scared me because I was only 18 but this one I don't know I've just seen her but she was laughing and giggling while she was doing it so I don't know but the speed in which she sort of got up and ran across the room it was it was quite funny you know I was like whoa you know calm down <laughs> Um, but yeah, I was the way she got up and the way she was running. I was I was actually quite impressed. So um, yeah, that was it. That there was no clear audience or anything or no message. It was just sort of seeing her getting up off this chair and then um, basically just charging at something or someone. Was really funny. Um, okay, so the second message came from his clear audience. It was quite a. It was a very fast message, but it, I just heard. We showed her the water you contaminated. Everything you do is seen. I, mm, that, was, that came through very vague, obviously. Um, I mean, I, I don't know. It came through, so. But I thought, well, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put it out there. Um, I put, oh, normally, I would put that into my as a random message. I mean, you can take it would technically be more of a random message, but it just felt like. I was feeling what what I was feeling from it was um, it felt like a woman was suspecting her water has been tampered with or possibly poisoned. Um, that's the feeling I was getting, so that's why I really just put it into it as a, as a message. So um, take heed with that one, whoever if somebody's feeling like the water's been poisoned. Or contaminated or anything like that. Maybe get it tested. Get some. Um, go and see some. I don't know. Because you can be deemed as paranoid when you want to sort of discuss it with somebody. If something like that is happening to you, and you feel like I feel like blah 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 is poisoning me. That's your intuition, right? It does not matter who thinks you're paranoid. Who gives a shit at that point if your life is at risk? you seriously believe or feel or sense and think, um, you've been poisoned you go to a doctor you find a doctor that will listen and say test this shit do something don't ignore it so I mean it's better to sort of be deemed as paranoid and have it tested than find out during an autopsy an autopsy so did I just say that right autopsy hold on now yeah, just you've got to stop people have got to stop fearing what people think especially with serious things like that so and it did it came through like um, we showed her the water you contaminated everything you do is seen so that's a message to the person who's probably messing around with someone's water huh um okay so the first third message that came through was a, a, a video visual Okay, yeah, I don't know what the hell was going on this week, but it was just fucking weird. Um, first of all, I was seeing this guy sat in a back garden, just sort of chilling, having a beer, smoking a cigarette. And and, that, and he stood out to me, obviously, not not because he wears t tattoos, it's just the tattoo on his neck. Uh, it was like a, of a bed. And then he just sort of sat there, and he's sort of, you know, looking up at the sky, just chilling out. Because it's a nice warm night, so I couldn't figure out where he was. He was in, um, let me just take a look. I believe he was like late, yeah, possibly late thirties. Um, and then what caught my eye was because it was like a, a visual. And I don't know if this has happened yet. I don't know if this has happened to somebody, or if this could possibly happen. So I have to take heed on this one. Whether this, you know, if this resonates to anybody who's. What I saw was. What caught my eye in the visual was there was a dark drone, like a black drone in the sky, and I'm like, and you, you know, because it was dark, you know, that's what was really weird. Um, you would have missed it, you wouldn't have seen it because it was dark, but it was, it came quite close, so because he had lights on, etc., I was able to sort of see this drone, and he um, saw it too, like I was watching him looking up, and then he freaked him out to the point where he got up and he started running, but it was too late. And drone. <laughs> shot at him <laughs> like um 
Yeah, just fired at him. Drone, seriously. And this guy, yeah, got hit, and it took out half his freaking garden. So, that's something very wrong with that. I don't like drones anyway, but that just sort of confirmed reason why I, I just don't like them. But this guy, I don't, I don't know, um, just, you know, he had dark hair, like I say, late thirties, his dark hair, he had a tattoo, tattoo of a bed on his neck. So, um... I really don't know what to suggest for that one, but the fact that people or peoples or whatever uh, using drones as weapons, yeah, we're in trouble. We're in fucking trouble, seriously. So I, I don't ever want that to come to pass. And whether it's happened or not, I really don't know. I mean, it's not that kind of crap happens. I mean, we're not stupid. Um, but like citizens and residents, and, and again. The fact that it was out, it was at night time, like, wow. Mm. I just kind of got the feeling that the guy was monitored or he was being watched, whatever, for some reason, I don't know. But still, that just doesn't justify being fucking shot at by a drone in your own back garden. Like, absolutely not. Really? This is where we're at, you know. But I can't get into that because it just... Just to sort of see that, like, cause the last, that was the last thing I was expecting to see during this visual, this video visual, and like, oh just chilling next thing what the fuck? it was one of those it's like are you serious right now <laughs> so um okay so the fourth me the fourth message hmm i was it was this was a visual a video visual and it was clear audience um i was in the presence of a young woman and um, like sort of mousy mousy hair um but could be like dirty blonde. Even if I don't know, it was because it was quite fleeting and fast. But um, she was, I'd say she was like mid twenties. Then I heard the name Melissa, and then the following message. And to me, what she was doing was she was like packing a bag of clothes. Like she had a bag on the bed, and she was packing a bag with some clothes. And I thought, oh, okay, you know. Um, but then the met the Claire audience message I heard was. The drama queen isn't missing, she just wants attention. And then because I was connected to energy, I, was, I got the feeling that this woman has been reported missing, even to the authorities. Um, I don't know, I don't know if Melissa was the energy I was connected to, or Melissa was the, wo the woman I was seeing. So if there is a, a, a young woman in the 20s by the name of Melissa that's been reported missing, um, I really don't know where that would be, but um, I felt like she, well, what I was seeing was someone new, leaving voluntarily, uh, packing a bag, and then obviously then, you know, and that's what I was feeling too, but then the Claire audience message was, the, the drama queen isn't missing, she just wants attention. So, it, you know, it, it never ceases to amaze me what we, 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 we try and do, or what we think we can do, in fact, you know, in 3D, that we just, you know, Sections, all that kind of stuff, but the things we think we can get away with that uh, that we think nobody knows about, everything's seen. So it's, and then you know, I mean, to be honest, if somebody's, if there is somebody who's registered and missing, um, that's, and if they've been looking for and they've using resources, especially the authorities, that's a lot of money to be wasting on. Especially when you have genuine cases, I know what that's like because I work with like I work on court cases and miss active missing persons cases, obviously. And that so to, to sort of see this and then hear this and like really, just for attention, get a grip. Can't tolerate these type of people in the world around us today. Get a grip. You've got to make yourself missing just to get attention. There's something fundamentally wrong with you, and you need to get some, I'd say, psychological help. Um, at that point, because that's just too much. Because, like I say, there are people who are, who are actively looking for their loved ones who genuinely are missing. So, but you know, that was, um, yeah, that was just some wow. I mean, the thing is, you, there's, there's many ways you can try and get attention if you're a drama queen. You know, get a grip, first of all, just get a grip. But there's many ways to get attention, not by 
being registered and reported missing. Are you serious right now? In society we learn today is just something wrong with psychology, I'm telling you. Okay, so the fifth message. This was a, a divine message, and this came from his Claire audience. Um, I like these, I like these on the cover. I like divine messages, obviously. And I do have a direct connection to the divine, as we all do, but um, as, as a spiritual minister, I sort of feel like I've, you know, really, everything's through the divine. But um, I heard June 2021 is the month of the wonderful energy, um, wonderful eclipse energy if you want to release anything or anyone from your life this is the month to do it if you want to start a new life a new relationship or wish to reveal secret feelings for someone this is the perfect time to find your courage and do it so that was, a, was like a divine message came through so that's really cool and yeah, I do feel like June's going to be um, some amazing energy because it, it just, it's like the month of eclipse coming. There's just a few more eclipses. It's, really, it's amazing. Okay, so random messages um, during this session were just, there was only like two, but they were pretty big. I mean, I heard the name Alistair Howell and Raspberry Lane. So sort of like Alistair Howell, Raspberry Lane. I have no idea who or what that means. And then the second one was not the right vote. That could mean anything. But again, random messages that do come in, I do I do just write them down. They could be significant for somebody. They could confirm certain things. For, they could just mean something to someone. So, like I say, I don't ignore them. Um, plus in the divine. I do have to say one thing. Uh, my recent video uh, regards to energy attacks, etc. Again, because I don't like to give too much credence to people that think they're so, they have that God mentality where they can hurt people. I don't like people who adopt that God mentality, who think they can hurt people, who think they're superior, who think they're superheroes, or whatever the fuck they think they are. Um, not zero grounding, they don't, they're not very grounded. Those people are not very grounded, they're not very good human beings. If, if, if you know another human being is actively putting spells on people, or cases, or, um, or f really believe they can hurt someone through magic, or the mind, etc. Um, they're not very grounded human beings, and there may be, there may be possibly something not quite right upstairs either, right? Not very grounded, not very um, stable, because you wouldn't choose if you, even if you mastered your abilities, and I've mastered mine. There's not, there's nothing I would ever do to hurt another human being with my abilities. Absolutely not. You just don't do that. I do no harm. You do no harm. Why would you want to hurt another human being just because you're jealous? Because that's all it comes down to. So, again, like I said, when I go back to that video, yeah, it's, it's, it's honest. So what? It's in your face. It needs to be heard. Because there's a lot of people that just feel like they can just do what they want and then the, the consequences don't uh, matter to them well they do absolutely um, but you know when I was some connecting to the divine I you know I obviously ask I, I'm, I'm, am I protected from these vicious jealous stupid people stupid absolutely um, and the I always get the confirmation of course you are that's the one thing I just want to make sure people like me understand especially light workers light warriors people that help people with their abilities and gifts etc we and shamans except especially too remember when you're doing when you have these abilities and you're and you're helping people when you're helping your fellow men and women with your amazing abilities and um, and your gifts etc you are so unbelievably divinely protected from idiots like that that they can't hurt you. They try. They may try. Let them throw the little voodoo at you. Let them throw the stupid spells at you. Let them, let them throw what they feel like they're going to hurt and attack you with. It doesn't work. When you, are, when, you are, when you know your destiny and when you know what your calling is and what you're supposed to be doing and it helps another fellow human being, right? You are divinely protected. You have no idea how much. So nothing and those stupid people cannot hurt you or affect you don't ever allow that 
um, to get into your head. Don't don't allow the idea. Or if somebody says, oh, blah 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 blah, it's very jealous of you, and I'm going to curse you, etc. Just go, bring it on. You know, bring it on. I've got great guardians. It's not going to get through. Um, all they're going to do is waste their own energy, and nothing's going to come to pass. But remember one thing as well. It's, it's no different to um, distance reggae healing or any distance healing or any distance any way you want to help somebody with your abilities etc and your skills you must always get the other person's permission absolutely universal laws you must always get the other person's permission especially when you're doing healing because you know it's going to affect them and it's very effective so that's the same, I guess if you're going to put energy out then again when you're thinking about, you know, thoughts become things, so when you're putting that negative energy out there towards a person, um, like, uh, just spiteful, etc, or I'm going to kill that person with my, and, oh my god, I'm going to destroy them, mm, okay, that's fine, you know, have at it, but remember, the more ferocious you are with your thoughts in that respect and you're putting it out there to another human being, especially without their permission, <laughs> he's kind of screwed karmatically because that's going to come back three times worse at least um, and you don't have a right to send that out anyway so if you're just sort of feeling like I feel like my energy is being attacked my energy field is being attacked right? all you need to do is go directly to the Supreme Divine and just say I did not ask for this um, negative, vile, nasty blah blah energy please send it back to the person who sent it to me without my permission they have no rights it will be sent back directly to them that's where it needs to go back to because they have no right to send it in the first place see what I'm saying and that's the same thing of whether it's good you have to I know it's great that you want to help somebody now what you can do if you're gonna do great you know if you're gonna put some amazing he I do it all the time I put energy you know life force and energy healing into the universe I send it out there and then my intent is Wherever you feel this needs to go, send it to these people, whoever needs it or wants it. Anybody that asks for it. Anybody around the world that states, I really need prayers right now and I really need healing, etc. I really need just to heal. It's out there, it will come. But they have you have to ask for it. And then again, like I said, if you just want to put it out there, <laughs> good thoughts, goodwill, anything, just don't put it to the person directly without their permission or at least telling them. Just put it out there, make your intent, and then it's the right way to do it. Um, not everybody believes in what we do, so it's just that's just the way you have to abide by the universal laws, and don't ever, you know, don't ever send anything to someone else's energy field without their permission, whether it's good or bad. Um, send it to the universe and add this the supreme divine or. That, or that person, anybody's guardians, they'll bring it in if they feel they need it, they'll bring it in for them. Um, that's the only really good advice I can give on that, but if you feel like you've been absolutely attacked by someone's vileness or venom, just tell the Supreme to, you can send that back to the person it came from without my permission, I didn't ask for it, um, they didn't get my permission, and they're going to get it back to themselves at least three times worse so you'll you'll know too because when their life is suddenly one minute it seems to be going good and it goes to shit or you feel like wow i feel like you're just getting dealt a good dosage of karma it's probably because of their own it's what they've probably put out there and sent to someone or some ones and they're just getting a taste of their own crazy shitty medicine that they're throwing out there that they should be doing in the first place so that's all. I think that's the only thing I can really say about that. Um, like I said, I don't give too much credence to those people who think they have that God mentality that they can do anything, that they're magic. I don't think so. Okay, let's be grounded. Let's, you know, let's stick with... <laughs> I just can't with those people. I'm sorry, I just can't. Um, no. Other than that... Um, that was, so that is this week's readings, um, energy collective readings. I do hope there is in it for somebody and help, uh, the, the design to help. Other than that, have a wonderful week. Take care of yourselves, be kind to people, it's free, and I will speak to you all soon.